Hello, I'm Nerez the Cartographer, and this is the 75th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series, and here we are at Lewis and Sons Farming Supplies. Taking a look at the map, we are right over here, just near the Kanawha River right here, just to the west of Charleston, and actually really just to the northwest of the Kanawha Nuka Gold Plant. Uh, let's take a look at this place. Now we're here because this place I've read is going to change at some point in the near future, and so let's get a look at it now before it does. Uh, we got some uh, dead traders here. It seems that this place was perhaps active in the time uh, before the scorching, but uh, since the scorching, there are definitely a lot of scorched here. In fact, when I first showed up, I killed a good number of scorched. Now this is the forest, so they're all low-level enemies. Uh, so they got a greenhouse here. Knowing some melons, some corn, some more corn. Let's see. Got a first aid kit here with some purified water. Uh, looks like we got some fertilizer. More fertilizer. Pretty good bet that uh, you're going to find fertilizer at a farming supply place. They also have this uh, chemical workbench. Or chemistry workbench, I should say. Heading back out this way. There's this large barn here. Got a tractor. Oh, this was interesting too. Gas pump. Which you don't actually see all that often in the Fallout universe because... They were out of gas, and uh, it even says here it contains lead. So it doesn't seem that, well, either this is a really antique gas pump, or that uh, even up to the point where they ran out of fuel, they were still using leaded gas. Uh, so we have uh, more of these dead scorchmen here, some shelves, another first aid kit, a uh, foot locker here, with some junk in it, some more junk in the tool cases. We've got a power armor workstation here, some paint cans, concrete, uh, coming over here, more dead scorched. Uh, they were all kind of piled up in this corner for some reason when I first showed up. Got some duct tape there. Another tractor. And another tractor. Heading up here. Uh, actually, we got a toolbox there. Nothing in it. Got a, a cabinet there with nothing in it. Makeshift battery. That's good for lead and acid. Coming up here. Got a fuel canister there. Uh, some Mintats. Economy Wonder Glue. Adjustable wrench. Got a... Uh, I'm just... <laughs> I played a little bit of Skyrim recently, so looking at those things, I was expecting to be able to loot them. But no, uh, coming over here, we got some uh, rounds there, from 44. The location steamer trunk here. And then uh, let's drop back down. Head out here past this little loom, or not loom, sorry, uh, spinning wheel. Heading up here, got a uh, broken shed. Looks like they're storing chemicals in here. Got some sealed jars there. A Grognak the Barbarian number six. Enter Maula, War Maiden of Mars, I suppose. I'm not sure if I'm reading that correctly. Okay, uh, first aid kit here. Another uh, oil canister there. Just some good junk over here. Okay, heading back out here. There's this little yard attached to this shed where they had uh, some hay stored. Okay, coming back out here. Got a plow. A uh, tipped over forklift. That takes a lot of effort to tip over a forklift. Those things are really heavy. Uh, coming over here past this uh, tilled field. Got a water tank would be my guess. And then there's this house up here. This also had scorch in it when I first showed up. Uh, white pickup truck outside. Let's head inside. Okay, so again just some scorched. Kitchen over here with some sugar and some salt, but otherwise that and the cat bowl, I think, are the only pieces of junk you can even find in this house. I think that pretty much covers this site. There's not really too much to see here. Again, just some fertilizer and some concrete if you're looking for those. Um, but I think that'll do it for this location. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that toolbox doesn't have anything in it anyway. We can check these cars real quick just to be sure there's nothing else. And I think that'll do it. Again, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.